Aloha folks, I'm Gabriel Gaming 5000 k and welcome to part 11 of Let's Play Vampire. Last time we defeated Doris Fletcher and we escaped from the theater and we went back, we went back to the Pembroke Hospital and we defeated McCollum, but we spared his life. And we also headed to the theater, but we're going to go find Edgar Swansea. And now, but before we do that, let's go check on the folks and the dogs. Fighting some Freewin scum. Sound was glitchy. I'm laggy. while he throws fire at back in there before we go to the docks and before we cure the other citizens we're gonna go we're gonna do what we gotta do save dr. Swansea and also once we save dr. Swansea we're gonna head back to the docks it's now under hostile Hostile is very bad. In the docks, Dyson, Giselle, and Lottie were missing. Fight off this free one this time. Alright. Gonna kill the free ones. Huh. He just flew like a rag doll. <laughs> okay. There's a brawler. What did you say? Alright. I am not a leech. If that friggin' hurt, punk. Let's try the gun. Come on, get up. Yeah, the gun would really help. So let's switch to the snake, okay? Rewind shall prevail. That's their motto. You're really starting to get on my nerves. Oh, dead now. We gotta investigate after the Swansea kidnapping. McCollum's report. Doris Fletcher was about to become a disaster. 
I'm getting close to having all the evidence. Okay. Gotta look for the other evidence. For sure. What's this? Don't let my frames drop. Nope. That's not it. The key, a theater stage key. Doctor Swansea should be in there. Got some shotgun shells. Nothing there. You're going down. Stupid gas bombs. Yeah, that poison slowly drains your health. William Marshall memories, memoirs. Blood of a pure heart, garlic, blood of a king. I don't understand. Perhaps this is what McCullum drank. I had better keep that in mind. A pinned note, evidence safe. Until further notice, this safe will be used to store sensitive evidence. It must be locked. If you need to access it, just find me on the last floor to get the key. And bloody remember to bring it back. Bring it back to me when you're done. Rotten. I should find the key to that box. A pin note. The Vampire Knight. New collectible. This also reminds me of the anime Vampire Knight. Alright. Okay, we're going in there. There he is. Edgar. Edgar. Can you hear me? Jonathan, is it really you? His face is all beat up. Easy. Easy. Save your strength. I'm getting you out of here. Don't try to spare me. As a physician, I know all too well when it's too late. Punctured lung, broken ribs, and internal bleeding. An accurate diagnosis, wouldn't you say? Edgar, what happened? They wanted me to confess. Beat me black and blue. Jeffrey McCollum ambushed me at the Pembroke Hospital. He was convinced you and I were responsible for the Skull epidemic. I never imagined that self-righteous fanatic would... ...dare to attack us in the open. What b became of him? To prove him wrong, I let him go. Really? Are you sure that was the wisest course of action? Time will tell. The most intriguing part of his accusation was that you and I were the pawns of some ancient vampire. The pawns of ancient William vampire. William Marshall. Yes, they... They 
tortured me to make me confess the same nonsense. I believe you. I trust you, Edgar. But the God of Prewin. Busy not. streaming. What do you mean? William Marshall, for example. You speak of him as if you know him. How is that? Uh, Jonathan, I, I cannot say I'm ready for another round of questions. Well, not this again. While investigating the epidemic, I read some of McCullum's findings. I think you have some explaining to do. I have nothing to hide, Jonathan. Nothing at all. Doris Fletcher visited her mother at the Pembroke Hospital. That's how she first got infected. I know nothing about that. Miss Fletcher once came to visit the sick. That is all I know. No, Edgar, there is more. Doris Fletcher was Harriet Jones's daughter. They exhibited the same symptoms. Blind hate and strong physical mutation. What does this sad story have to do with us? Doris and Harriet shared more than a hidden family bond. They were the embodiment of the epidemic and are linked to the Pembroke Hospital. Come on, Edgar, this is no coincidence. I swear I'm at a complete loss. All I did was administer vampire blood to cure old Harriet. There was no evil plan, no diabolical plot. You did what? I tested the regenerating and healing properties of vampire blood on Harriet Jones. My only intention was to find the cure for influenza, I swear. Whose blood did you use? William Marshall's? Mine? Lady Ashbury's. While transfusing her with human uh -oh. blood, humanely appeasing her hunger, I also kept samples of her blood for my you research. You used her blood on Harriet Jones? My God, Edgar, that's unethical. You betrayed two of your patients at the same time. I made a mistake. But what is science if not trial and error? We both know it, Jonathan, we both know it. What a poor justification for your morbid fascination and thirst for glory. You have worked beside me. You saw what I'm doing at Pembroke Hospital. Jonathan, you know I'm not an evil soul. Just another victim of this tragedy. No, Edgar, you are not going to die. There are three Unless choices. you want to. What? What, what do you mean? I can save you, Edgar. I can turn your broken body into one like mine. You truly would? After all I've done, I'd, after all that's been said, you would offer me this gift? I have no way of knowing which punishment would be worse, Edgar. But it is not for me to decide. So? Oh, please, Jonathan, please. I beg you. This is what I've always wanted. This is what I've always searched for. Very well, then. Ah. Uh, he's gonna have to do the same thing Prepare like... to die and yes. be reborn. To face an eternity of guilt. I'm ready. Oh, indeed, I am ready. Ugh. He's drinking the blood. Enough! Enough! All right, chapter six begins. Destroy Harry Jones, the source of the skulls epidemic. All right, two hints failed. All right, chapter six, antidote. Prepare to fight the disaster. One hint has failed because I missed that event. <laughs> All right. Let's see if we can check our map. Okay, folks, we're going to go talk to Lady Ashbury right after we, we cure the folks. Oh, wow. I'm 
probably going to have to get out of here. Convenient time. Oh, wow. So Harriet Jones became the original carrier when Edgar gave her vampire blood. I must tell Elizabeth. I can't believe we wasted XP. Negative 2,260 XP. If I could get more. to you this. The final boss is going to be very tough and annoying if I'm not fully leveled up. Huh. Four coins. That hurt. blood. I'm gonna watch it. Uh, ow. Take that. Okay. We're heading to the north docks. To the docks. Before doing the Pandora's box, we're going to do Cure the Folks. Oh, seriously? Dude, leave me alone. Oh, not good enough. Stop lagging! Get some more blood. Kill him. Goodbye. See you. Okay. We're out of there. I 
high resistance to bullets. Especially firearm. You're gonna go in the Pembroke Hospital. The status is totally serious. Oh my god. This is bad. Good evening, Mr. Good evening, Dr. Ray. Is there anything else that's bothering you? Can I help in any way? Really? Why has no one else asked me that since I got here? I thought I was in a hospital. Unfortunately. Yeah. Goodbye. Now it's time for Dr. Ackroyd. With you at our side, Dr. I'm quite. Do you need my assistance? Don't be ridiculous. Then you are. I wish. Thank you. Okay. Next. Good evening, Doctor. Good evening, sir. Do you require medical Do you know? Despite. Well, it. Goodbye. Right. We're getting, we're getting more XP from now on, okay? Good evening. I'm okay. Do you need an. I'm afraid. You are not. And you have. I have. Good evening, sir. Poor Doctor. Mortimer. Guy needs to heal. Good evening. And good evening. Tell me, Thoreau, what's the real cause of your dislike for Dr. Ackroyd? He refuses to admit that your blood transfusion technique is the only way to save Mr. Fiddick. I'm convinced we must use it. What Dr. Ackroyd really said is that you lack the skill to perform this operation efficiently. Is there anything you have to say about this? It's a false conceit. Dr. Ackroyd secretly envies your reputation. His jealousy blinds him. I'm not the real target here. Oh. Do you need wood? There is no penny. Goodbye. Stop stuttering. With that music, with that sound. The daily Good evening, ma'am. Good evening. Do you need. I'm afraid. Not on. Thank you. Good evening. Evening. Soldier. Not real. As long as don't. Goodbye. All right, hurry up. Thoma. She has a bit of a headache. Hello again. Good evening, Miss Howcroft. I need blood, Doctor. Do you require my services, Miss Howcroft? My condition cannot be understood by you, mortal. This curse is beyond your science. Well, and thank you, Doctor. I'll okay. Now we're gonna kill Gwyneth. Good evening. Good evening. Do you require? I will. No. I'll try. Goodbye. Let's cure him. Good evening, Doctor. Do you need any medicine? Yeah. I have fire pr Goodbye. Okay. Melton. Good evening. Good evening. Do you need any mouth? Our jersey. I know. Goodbye. Next is Rakesh. Here in the Pembroke folks, guys. Good evening. Do you need the proximity? Don't end that is please show of course. Alright, let's check. What we gotta do is cure Clay, Newton, and Oswald. That we have to. We don't have a choice, Jonathan. Uh, 
right. Hello, Clay. <laughs> You're lucky. This place. Can stop. I'll leave you. I know. Oswald. Good evening. Even. Do you need? Don't get me. Headache. I'm sorry. Like last Goodbye. time. Hello again. Good evening, Doc. Do you need for it, sir? Crowd, your work. Goodbye. Alright, it's all good. All good. <sighs> We're gonna go to the docks. Firearm. A little bit of resistance to shadow. And this bag is starting to irritate me. Call me Leech one more time. See what happens. Go ahead. Call me Leech. Uh oh. Oh my god. I'm not gonna waste any more bullets. A big idea. That hurts, man. Oh. Fire pre ones I should They're my problems. I to step back. Whoa! That hurt. Takes care of these bugs. No, 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 you're going the wrong way, Jonathan. The docks is over there. I'll deal with these guys. Did you hear me? Look at it! Oh my god. Stop that. You don't really scare me. I fight. Keeps on draining my health. Really? I won't rest before I beat you, bro. That hurts. So out of bullets. Yep. Let's look what happens. What is 
themselves. There's one of them. I wouldn't go down without a fight if I were you, man. What are you trying to do? Ouch. Uh oh. Who is in there? We're in the docks. It's under critical. For now, everything seems un. Good evening. Hello again. Can I offer? Give you help. Perhaps. Thank you. Good. Where are you, Booth? You. Do you need yet? Yeah. So you can. Think. Goodbye. Good evening, Miss Cox. Hello. Can I? Um. Goodbye, Miss Cox. Oh, not you. We already talked to you. We told you last time. Going inside. Heal Sabrina. Be he cursed or not, he's still just working at this end. Do you require medical assistance, Miss Cavendish? Don't feel so good if you have to know. I knew that keeping the bar open with the epidemic wasn't a good idea. Take this. Top. Goodbye. Clients. What with the ebony? Welcome back, Doc. Do you need? <coughs> it can't be good for. Indeed. Oh, Goodbye, Miss. Dyson's no longer there. So I guess he can turn into a beast. Clients. In any event, we're gonna go see Stella Fishburne and Steve Bar. Good evening. Yeah, yeah. Do you require? I don't. And is he? Goodbye. Okay. Good evening, Mrs. Fishburne. Of course. The epidemic is what? what can I Mrs. Fishburne? Are you in need of any medical assistance? I am afraid I am, Doctor. I don't feel well at all. Then let me I... goodbye. Okay, it's locked. Told you it's locked. She must have been sleeping a lot. It's best to get beauty rest, you know. <laughs> Archer would be literally sick. Good evening. Good evening to you. Do you need my medical attention, sir? Unfortunately, yes. Nobody. Well, goodbye. It's the guy that I saved last time. Check our map. We're gonna head. To the western docks. Just so that we can heal our folks. Including Rodney.
Why have the loading screen, folks? Resistance battle. It's almost down. Die. Cries in pain. to go in there. Come on, stop loading. Start loading, I mean. Don't stop. Please, Martin! Come on, load. Why do you have to load? My frames are going down. Good evening, young man. There's no need to call me that, Dr. Reed. Young man, do you require medical attention? I don't like asking for help, but I don't want to be one of those poor sods dying in the streets. There's no shame in asking for help, especially when you are in desperate need of it. Here, take this. You should recover in no time. Thank you, I suppose. Let me be frank. You're as much of a businessman as I am a werewolf, right? Who the hell are you to question me? It's hard enough to stay clean when you don't have a place to sleep. I'm doing my best here. I meant no offense, Mr. Nightingale. I was merely pointing out the fact that you're unlikely to survive long if you continue wandering this path. And what should I do then, sir? Should I join the wet boot boys like so many others? No thanks. I'd rather be a bad seller than a dead gang member. What can you tell me about the neighborhood? Have you got any friends around these parts? Not really. Miss Gillingham smiles and says kind words, but I know she's lost her marbles, especially since her son died. How interesting. His son died. I don't suppose you know what happened to her son. Jack! Rumor has it he tried to tackle some gang lads. I didn't know him well, but I heard he was a nice enough chap. His old ma still thinks he's around. Tell me about this crazy woman. Madness is often mistaken for other conditions. The poor woman's mad, all right. Kind and all, but she has so much trouble remembering things. She's taken me for a son more than once. It's straight. Show me what you have to offer then, Mr. Nightingale. There's no need to sell. I'll talk to him again. Good evening. There's no need. Why not try seeking help instead of peddling your wares? I'm sure there are people around here that would gladly help. There's always the night asylum. I heard it's run by a very nice man, but I'm no beggar. Not yet, at least. There is no shame in asking for help, my boy. Sometimes it can even be the best course of action. I don't feel okay with that. I'm going to make a name for myself, and I'll do it by myself. Have you heard anything recently concerning Sean Hampton's shelter? I heard he had a scam of his own. A cult or something. Are you feeling worried about the sanitary situation in London? This city is falling apart. The disease kills so many people. No one cares about anything or anyone anymore but themselves. Oh, wow. 
Goodbye. Goodbye, man. Ronnie. Good evening, Mr. Gray. Are you sure nobody... Are you worried about the sanitary situation in London? Not really. I've spent so many days hiding to escape retaliation from the wet boot boys. Now that there's so much chaos, they might forget about me. You are not going to spend the rest of your life hiding, Rodney. What are you planning to do? Honestly, I have no idea. How am I supposed to live while so many have suffered because of me? Only you can answer that question. But one thing is certain. Since you owe Jack your life, I think it's fair to live it in a way that would make him proud. That's the kind of thing Jack could have said, Dr. Reed. Thank you for that. I believe you're a good guy, too. Do you need help, Mr. Grader? Death by disease, or... Well, you have a strange sense of... The death of your friend has affected you deeply, hasn't it? Jack Gillingham was the real deal. He believed we could change the world if we were united and focused enough. And he brought out the best in each of us. Your friend's plan was audacious, if not reckless. No one stands up by themselves to a gang like the Wet Boot Boys. How dare you say that? You never met him. You're right. He died to save you. That alone gives me an idea of the kind of man he was. He was the bravest. And no one dares to say openly that he got killed by those bastards. Wow. Goodbye, Mr. Good evening, Mr. Of course. We're going to talk to Miss Gillingham. Have you heard anything recently concerning Sean Hampton's shelter? I've never heard that name before, I'm afraid. What can you tell me about this part of town? Oh, no. I don't gossip. That would be most unbecoming of a lady such as myself. <laughs> is anyone taking care of you, Miss Gillingham? My son is always here to take care of me. He's a good boy like that, but... I do worry that he needs to start living his own life. Well, I would never say that to him, of course. Who are the more influential figures on the docks? Well, I heard about some terrible illness going around. I would say in that case that it's you, Dr. Tippett. You mean Dr. Reed? Enid, have you really no idea what happened to your son? No idea at all. I've not seen Jack for so long. I lose track of time. What was that? Something here? bad happened to him. Jack takes good care of you, Miss Gillingham. He does indeed. My Jack is the best son a mother could ask for. True. But the hint didn't fail. That's an okay choice. Well, let's hear. Do you require? I'm glad you are. I'll try. Thank. Goodbye, Miss Jill. Okay, Miss Jillian secured. So then, so we gotta find Ichabod and Rufus. Where's Rufus? Oh, you kabod. Good evening, Doctor. So, how exactly are you protecting these people? I'm curious. I patrol late at night, investigating anything unusual. I try and encourage people to stay indoors, but people are careless. Can I help in any way? Actually, yes. I plan to put up posters to alert the population to the vampire threat. Are you asking me to paste 
posters about vampires around the docks. If you wouldn't mind. If you did that, then I can focus on my patrols. How do you do investigation? A vampire? It's simple, really. They can't stand vampire daylight. hunter extraordinaire. They're afraid of garlic and holy symbols. They also cannot enter a house without being invited. Have you ever killed one of these creatures yourself? I mean, of course I have. What kind of question is that? It's a dirty business, believe me. True. Have you heard of the Guard of Prewan? Of course. They're dedicated hunters. A little militant for my taste, but they do let anyone join. <laughs> Were you ever tempted to join the Guard yourself? I did think about it, but I'm more of a silent hunter. They're more of a sanitary militia. So you hunt alone? That sounds risky. Vampires are just like every other predator. They hunt when they're hungry and follow certain patterns. It's just a matter of observation and patience. Let's see. Have you heard any rumors regarding Sean Hampton shelter? I cannot say I've heard anything particularly interesting, but I was too busy hunting evil to pay attention. True. Do you need one? Actually, treating a thank. Goodbye. Bye, sir. Got to find Okay, let's see here. Which map goes right here? Of course. Mm -hmm. See where we're headed. Should probably head back. I have this thirst for blood. We're going to help Ichabod find that vampire. For him. We're going to take down those posters from the pile. Anti-vampire posters. Stick five posters to the streets in the East End. Or burn all the posters. What are the right choices? I better stick them all. inhabitants of the presence of vampires. What does that make me? A double or a triple agent? I don't know. Probably not. Probably an agent. Triple. Alright. We, now we gotta go look for the last one. <laughs> make that the last two. Now the last one. There. Done. Mr. Throgmorton should be happy. Of 
course he's not a place for you, sir. What are you doing? So dead. Now it's time to hit reporter Ichabod. Gotta take that off. Okay. What are you doing? Kill him. Let's see if I can test out that shadow mist. Shadow category. Oh, stop it. Whoa. Uh oh. Wait for the gas to go away. There we go. Where are you, Ikabad? Check my map. No, where's? Yeah, I should. Where's the kebab? There you are, man. Good evening, Mr. Throgmorton. Doctor Reed, I put up your public service announcement. Consider the common folk warned about the vampiric presence. Thank you, Dr. Reed. You may not realize it, but you saved a great many lives today. Do you really think they could be useful? See the sad saint of the East End? How a single man can help so many people? I consider myself the discreet protector of these men and women. Yay! New hint available. Goodbye. But if you burn on the posters, the hint will fail. That's not a good sign. No. Let's see here. Now we gotta go find. Where's Rufus? Yeah, he's the guy with the hair. Gotta know where he is. What's up, Archer? Seriously. I'm gonna head over there. Still in the docks? Really? Best not to go around in circles, Jonathan, right? Still a fish burn. Gotta go 
door's locked. Oh, there you are, Rufus. There you are, man. Talk to him. Evening, Rufus. Evening, Mr. Nah, you mean doctory. He earned a PhD. Heard anything about Sean Hampton shelter lately? I rarely go near there, but rumor has it the place is restricted. Only members chosen by Mr. Hampton are allowed in. Are you worried about the sanitary situation? I never really felt safe in this town anyway. Now's the first time that everyone seems to feel the same way as me. Is anything worrying you right now? Gunshots? I hear them every night. I think his hair is like blonde. Who are they shooting at? That's what's scary. Do you need help? A real doctor caring about me. That's a first. I feel like a real person. A real doctor treats everyone the same, Rufus. I don't know what to say. Thank you, sir. Thank you. All right, man. So long, Rufus. Stay out of trouble, okay? Next up. Okay. Come on. We're gonna head back to Whitechapel and cure the folks. Including Richard Albert. Loretta. Not Albert Wesker. We deal with these. Human jerks. Not a leech. <laughs> the ragdoll thing. It's starting to make me laugh. Oh no! No, do you want some of this? Oh my god. Knock it off. Stop spraying poison at me. Better watch that pattern. Just vampires. Ha! Skills. Booyah. Now I'll deal with you. Stupid poison. Stop clawing me. Really? Just bit me in the neck? Yay. Now let's get out of here. Oh, so this is where we saved Archer last time. On these annoying skulls that are on level 19, and 18, and 16. Please hurry up. Still need to get. Whoa! Did you say stupid beast? Did somebody say beast? Where are these pre wind punks coming from? I don't know. Him. I'll go kick their butts. They're very tough, alright. Oh, 
Alright, that's it. Stop shooting me. I'll show you who's boss. Just dodge my shadows. when swearing is starting to make me laugh really hard. Uh, he's almost done for the count. Seriously, die. About time. Alright. Now we're gonna go kick his butt. Another another one of these guys? Not for long, man. That hurt. Oh, I gotta go down. What are you doing? I have no choice. Now I'm gonna die. Through your head. Booyah. Now let's keep going. Gotta do the Pandora's lunchbox thing. Right after we cure the, the citizens. Without Sean Hampton and, and Dorothy Crane around, what are we gonna do? My, my back's hurting. Alright, okay, I'm ready this time. Oh, not the rogue Econs again. 
I'm evil. I'm not evil, you know. Enough with the blood barrier. Already. Is it blood barrier on me? What are you trying to do? Out of the way. Can you stop dodging? Knock it off. If I were you, God, wasting stamina is bad enough. But, but these skulls that explode themselves in the process, much even. Okay, that's it. We're in White Chapel from now on. We're gonna heal Christina. Good evening. Shane, do you need a it? I am sure. I know. Goodbye. We're gonna heal Joe. You again. Can I offer you my medical expertise, Mr. Peterson? Keep your medicines for others. There is a thin line between pride and stupidity, sir. Please take this medication. You'll feel better. All right. I'll take it then. Goodbye, Mr. Peterson. Talk to him. Fancy buying something, sir? You never lose your focus, do you? Do you need help, sir? To be honest, I'd prefer you take a look at my stuff. I'd rather be rich and sick than the contrary. I don't quite agree, but I won't argue with you. Please, take this. You'll feel better. Really? True. Good but we gotta hear Albert and Richard. I'm gonna heal Cadogan. Mr. Evening. Since I... Well... In fact, well, good. Bye, man. Benjamin. Richard. As long as you have the money. Good evening. I'm afraid. You don't seem well. Oh, uh, I can try to war. A gun? This here will give you faith again. Good evening. You look in. Well, there you Thank you. Goodbye. We're still curing those citizens, folks. Where are you, Albert? Ah. There you are, my friend. How are you? I'm not your boy, all right? Do you need assist, please? There you go. Very funny. Rude. Show some respect. Goodbye, young man. How about yes, sir, Albert? Shaoshun, you have a cold, ma'am. Good evening, Shaoshun. Wang Shanghao, doctor. How do you feel? Physically speaking, I mean. I don't feel good, Dr. Reed. Not at all. You should recover quickly. I'll... Thank you, doctor. Let's see here. What are you doing with your time, now that you're back in Whitechapel? I've decided to help the poor and sick of the neighborhood by handing out medicine. That's very charitable of you, but why do it at night? I've noticed that the most desperate people tend to go out after dark. Hence my presence, to help them when I can. Giving out medicine? How can you afford to do that? I am a rich widow, Dr. Reed. My departed husband left me enough money to last the rest of my life. I can spend some on those who don't have any. 
Why don't you move to a better neighborhood? I thought about it, I confess. To go back to the same empty home every day still hurts me a lot. Why stay here then? I am a woman of habit, Dr. Reed. And for now, I am happier being useful in a familiar place than I would be anywhere else. Do you still think about your departed husband? Of course I do. I'll never forget my beloved Matthew, but how do I put it? Now I miss him more than I want him back. I know what you mean. And I think it means you're getting better. Maybe death will take me the way it took Matthew. Without warning and without mercy. But until then, I live on. Goodbye for now. All right. Now we're going to have to go to the Whitechapel Church. Okay. Right there. Still in critical, folks. That ain't good at all. Darius is literally infected with the cold. Good evening. Sure. What do you plan to do now that Nurse Crane is gone? I'm not sure. Strange men came to see me after Torateus' death with strange weapons and very odd stories. You believe them? Aren't you too old to hold a weapon or listen to scary stories? Yes, I am old and alone and will die soon, but if these stories are true, maybe I have found myself another cause. What kind of stories? Stories all Romanian children know. It was as if I was home again. Vampires, Mr. Doctor. Vampires. Are you living on the streets, Mr. Petrescu? And why not? Those who believe they'll be safe behind walls are blind. What about your house? My house is always open to any poor soul needing a roof. All my work here is lost now that Dorothea is gone, thanks to you. Why are you so aggressive? I remember the night you came here and convinced me to open my door to you, sir. I'd like to punch you right on your chops. How do you feel? I would not. Be. Yes, I said I don't. Goodbye. He is grumpy. We're gonna go find Mason. Sure. Is there only pain and suffering in this world? No, don't go that way. Get inside. Talk to him. So, I'm not bothered. Do you remember when Barrett Lewis was close to your family? To your mother? Not really. I was too young. But I remember it was a happier time. Mr. Lewis was funny. They often had dinner with us. Why are you sad then? Because it hurts to remember a time when my father used to laugh and smile. It hurts to realize he's as sad as me now. He misses his dad. How was he towards you? He was nice, I guess. He never forgot my birthday. He always offered me books. I liked books. He likes books so that he could become a reader. Do you need any medical help, young man? Yes, I do. Feels. You'll feel better with. I'm not sure. Goodbye, young man. Take care of yourself. Yes, sir. Is there only pain and suffering in this world? Okay, we're heading to the church now. 
Father Withtaker is in is Good evening. He's Thank you. Faith. No doubt you're blessed for your I have had oh, actually let's go into the Good evening. He's far now. Life in London. What do you mean when you say that I am more lost than you thought? All scientists are entangled in a world of causes and consequences. And most of them can't see the plain truth. Quite a judgmental opinion, if you ask me. But what do I know? Blinded by science as I am. Well, you are seeking answers, aren't you? Answers about the Armageddon about to strike the city. Answers about the hidden truth. I am. But the answers I seek are based on facts, not superstition. True. Tell me the reason why you despise Joseph Larrabee so much, Tobias. A faithless shepherd is the worst criminal, for he leads his flock to the abyss by disregarding the right path. God smote this man, for he doubted. I only met him briefly, but he seemed a dedicated man who tried to provide guidance. Do you not believe in punishment, my son? I am not talking about the law of men. I am talking about judgment from heaven. I believe that we are, as men, if I choose this hint. our own judges, juries, and executioners. No, 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 if I choose this Armageddon is upon hint us, Dr. Reed. The final battle where every soul will be weighed. I'm afraid yours will burn for a long time. Nope. I have heard enough for tonight. Uh, at least he's recovering now. Clayton Darby. We gotta go save Clayton. Definitely. Good evening. Do you need that? Would be not. If you thank you. Good. You're welcome, man. Now let's go. Camilla is the silent type. Richard is. Good evening, Miss. And good evening to you too. May I ask what you're doing at this hour of night, sir? Do you live here? Not at all. I'm just enjoying the pleasure of a quiet walk. Though night talks are always preferable, if you ask me. Especially with strangers. If you say so. But as a physician in a time of epidemic, I must caution you to avoid unnecessary exposure, sir. Thank you, Doctor. But we both know the seeker of truth has to go boldly where the weak dare not. But are you not afraid of the epidemic? Oh, why should I? I see some equity in the Spanish flu. Uh, no flesh should be saved, say the scriptures. Good or evil, rich or poor, all are equal in the eyes of the flu. What are your thoughts on the terrible situation in this city? Terrible, you say? No. Of course, the death of so many innocents is a tragedy. But the I scourge agree. has not been all bad for the city. Oh, no, sir. What are you talking about? Do you remember London before the flu? Noisy, cacophonic, quiet, nowhere to be found. And now, listen to this oddly peaceful silence. Yes. The enjoyable silence of the grave. Well, you look at me, I had the flu shot. Perspective on the situation, I must admit. Most people fail to understand my perspective. I don't blame them. But how could I call myself a poet if I veiled my feelings? Are you aware that your life could be in danger in this part of town? But this is where I must be to feel the real beat of the city. I had to come, see it for myself, alone. I understand your need for solitude. But it's not safe around here. I don't care. I don't have many he friends. Doesn't care. Doctor, and my family despises me. Why does his family hate him? If some misfortune came upon you, who would be here to help you? Well, you for a start, my dear doctor. Okay. Do you need medical? It may. I understand you. I'll now it's time to go find Mason. Oh, 
Let's hope that we go find them. I hear it. Stupid car echoes. Maybe I ought to ignore him. Rogue Volcoid at a level 35. These guys. Unbelievable. Oh, this is a great time. Oh, cool. Give this Volcoid a taste of his own medicine. Ah, oh, crap! Now he just kicked my butt. Literally. <laughs> How did a Volcoid like that get so strong all of a sudden? Let's see if I can try that again. Well... If not, all I gotta do is four more XP. Load already. Oh, they start me over here. I'd head back if I were you, sir. I'd head back if I were you, sir. Okay. Let's try again. Come on, seriously. That blood econ really starts to irritate me. Oh my god! Get away from me, punks. If only I could just find a way to distract them. Yeah, that's the idea to distract them. Good evening, Miss. Is it you? Wandering in this part of town at night, you're either brave. What can I do for you, Doctor? So, did you decide not to take the experimental cure for blindness? Oh, no, I have. For a few hours. But you are still. What do you mean? I don't understand. I saw the world again, Dr. Reed. For a few hours, I witnessed how ugly and sad and tragic this city is. I'm sorry the effect didn't last. You don't get it, do you? I crafted a new formula that made me blind again. Oh, the world no, is he's cesspool, blind Dr. again. Reed, and I don't want to look at it. You seem actually... Yes, thank you. Goodbye. 
Wait. What kind of gentleman pays visits to people at this late hour? Okay, guys. Let's check one more time for the citizens. All good. Now we gotta cure everyone. Including your mother and the butler, Clarence, Venus, Carolyn, Carol, Karina, Calhoun, Persley's, the Baker brothers, Usher, Charles, Leith, Kimura, and Charlotte. Well then. Time to investigate, folks. Lessons, you punks. Alright. Stop that. Darn right, I'm fast. I still need to find my XP. Dazzle Scow's so annoying. Why do they keep throwing up on me? Annoyingly disgusting. Boom. Clove Essence and Codeine. These rogue folk are probably no Use the shadow of God, it's not a map. Come on. Dynamus would help. Okay, that really irritates me. If I can try another combo with that. What are you doing? I'm about to fail. Oh, this is bad. Ow. You just tackled me. You didn't handle my shadows? Unacceptable. Oh my god, I'm about to fail. I take one more strike. Uh oh, I'm about to fail. Stop until I defeat you. Why 
What? You countered me? That's the worst thing for a goal. There's safer places to be. All right, then. We're on a different level than usual. Fire at me, would you? All right, now it's time to head back into the theater. Okay, after you rescued Dr. Swansea, you have to go back and do this investigation. Okay, this time to go. He's immune to shadow. Don't mess with me. Oh. Don't anger me. You poor are evil. He's dead. Shotgun. I can now open the box. Oh man, I'm literally out of bullets. Now we can open the box. Open the safe and retrieve Usher Talltree's notebook. It's down there where we faced Doris Fletcher last time. Where could that safe possibly be? Hmm? Perhaps it's up there or something? Oh great, Dr. Swansea is still there. Still in here right now. Oh, 
Gotta be in the basement. Nope. That's a different door. Does it have to be where, where we entered? No. Let's see here. Mm -hmm. No. That's not in there. Come on, hurry up. No. Come on, man. Is it this one? Uh, right not. Yeah, that's it. Yeah, that's I really one. don't know if I should read this. Not a great idea. I wouldn't read it if I were you. I would bring the notebook back to Usher. No rest for the wicked. Just ignore those prewin dudes. Ignore those bros. Alright, now that we got that note, can't read it because the hint will fail. If you read it, hint will fail. So I would suggest you don't read it. <sighs> Come on, what will you load, please? Convenient time. Ooh, yeah. Bring the notebook back this time. We're heading back where we found him last time. Okay, guys? Darn. No wonder why I've been searching around. Right. 
Call me Leech one more time. See what happens when you call me that. That's it. You're dead. How's that? Huh? Next up. Wish. Why the lag? These annoying no farm beasts can just beat the daylights out of me. To cure Charles. Doctor Reed. Have you recent news of Aloysius Dawson? Mm. <laughs> I heard he intends to build some sort of wall to protect the West End. Giant open air prison. Well, I quite like the idea. True. Do you need medical attention, Inspector? I'm afraid I may have caught something. I don't feel too well. You'll quickly feel better after taking this. Thank you, Dr. Reed. I really appreciate it. Goodbye. Goodbye. All right. We're going to cure the Baker brothers. Good evening, Mr. Baker. Hmm. Do you need my medical attention, sir? I'm afraid I do. I knew we should have left London. I don't want to appear tactless. But you're risking your health by remaining outside at this hour of night. Says the doctor who also works outside at night. But as always, Glitch. the imprudent person enjoys the company of their fellows. Goodbye. Hello again, doctor. Do you need my medical? Indeed. I've never been good at explaining my feelings, but I can tell when my body is hurting me. You have nothing to be worried about. You should recover by taking this. Sounds so easy to fight disease. Too bad it's not the same making people smile again. Good. Bye, buddy. So then, I'm gonna go to the jewelry shop and save. Oh, Usher. I'm gonna go talk to him. What is that feeling I'm sensing? Save Carol. Carol. I hope you can stay a little longer this Good time. evening. My mother always prefers when people simply call me Carol. <laughs> do you need my medical attention? Oh, please, sir. Do not waste your time with me. There is nothing to be worried about. Don't be shy. It's my duty to take care of you. Thank you, sir. Much obliged. Goodbye, Carol. I'm gonna talk to her one more time. Good evening, young lady. My mother always prefers when people simply call me Carol. Let's see here. Aloysius Dawson. I suspect you've heard what has happened to Aloysius Dawson. No, what happened to him? I don't read newspapers. 
Uh, a mother always told me it's a bad thing to listen to gossip. True. Goodbye. Good evening. You know you can... Do you need my medical attention, Miss Price? Oh, yes. I feel so oppressed lately. And tired and feeble, too. Thank you so much, Doctor. You're always so considerate. I'm just doing my job. Perhaps. True. But I have always been grateful for your concern, you know. Goodbye for now. Yeah. Goodbye I for hope now. You can stay a little longer this time. Uh, darn betcha. Inside, got a new hideout. Cool. But still, we gotta go find Usher. Check your map. It's in there. will survive the epidemic, but I see. Good evening. Jo Do you require medical attention? If you don't mind. You'll feel better after taking this. Thank you very much. I feel better already. I found your notebook. The one the guard of Prewin stole from you. And you've brought it back to me. That's excellent news, Jonathan. Were you able to keep yourself from reading it? Yes. I give it back to you untouched. Then, my friend, you deserve a little something to reward your fortitude. Please, have this with my gratitude. What's in the notebook? I can't answer you, Jonathan, since you chose not to open it. Ah, oh, hint failed. <laughs> Goodbye, sir. I rarely wander. You open it. Again, what are the cards trying to tell us? She didn't make the good choice. Actually, the hint failed. If I read it, right? Oh well. Let's see if we can go back to West End. No, no, no. Alright. It's all good for now. Now we're back to positive XP. Booyah. Shadow Echoes so annoying. Don't you know better? Ow. Why is he low? Okay, that hurt. You're mine. Don't you dare. Die, please. How do you like that, punk? 
We're in the temple covered market. Temple garden. Probably ignore these punks. Clearing punks. I could just shoot this dude. Stop it with the leech stuff. Calhoun is literally sick. Women of all countries unite. Good evening, Doctor. Do you need medical help? You would save my life, Doctor Reed. I have not felt so bad in many years. Don't worry. There is nothing serious to fear. I have seen far worse, I can assure you. I cannot imagine the pain these people must face then. You have my gratitude, Doctor. This disease has ruined my appetite. Yeah. Goodbye, Mr. Rust. He eats a lot. Does Hey, Luis. Good evening, Miss Teasdale. How have you been since you returned home? Doctor Reed. Oh, thank God you returned safely from these awful streets. I was so worried about my father that I left without thanking you properly. Please, don't mention it, miss. Good. I found him, you know. My dad. Or what was left of him. I think my abductor intended to do the same thing to me. What can you tell me about Aloysius Dawson? Never heard of him. Really? He's very well known in London. Throughout the country, even. But he a big shot or something. Never interested in politics myself. All words and no action. What do you do for a living, Miss Teasdale? Before my kidnapping, I was a waitress in a pub. Now I'm unemployed. Were you fired? No. It's just that after my recent experience, I don't feel like I can go back to my normal life. I need to do something useful. Be very careful, Miss Teasdale. You are lucky to escape death once. But vampires lurk everywhere. You killed my kidnapper by yourself, didn't you? No offense, Doctor, but you're just a doctor. I don't see why I couldn't do the same. That Ekon was trying to kill you, Luis. What do you intend to do? Dad always told me, Luis, if you want something, don't stop until you have it. I did my research and I found it. Ichabod Frogmorton, professional vampire hunter. I'll be his apprentice. What can you tell me about this area? I've never really liked this part of town. It was where my father wanted to live. I won't remain here much longer. What exactly don't you like about it? People here are contemptuous and elitist. My dad always said, Louise, always treat people like you want them to treat you. You seem to cherish your father a great deal. Dad was the best. He kept an eye on me, but let me make my own mistakes. Louise, he used to say, mistakes are the best teacher. You would have liked him. I'm sorry you didn't have the opportunity to say goodbye. That's all right. He's buried in consecrated ground now. Nothing bad can happen to him. Yeah. Do you need my medical attention, miss? I don't need your help specifically. I can assure you there are many competent doctors around. I have no doubt about it, but I'm offering you my help anyway. All right then. 
But please leave me alone for now. Leave her alone for now. Goodbye. Dude. Why can't I forgive you, Father? Don't let any women die too in this. Good evening. And good evening. Do you need my medical attention, Charlotte? Indeed. Unlike you and my mother, I can still become ill. Oh, you cannot imagine how relieved I'd be to catch a cold again. My mother once told me the same thing. I sometimes wonder if she's forgotten what it feels like to be ill. Goodbye, Charlotte. She's been quite... Clarence has a bit of a headache. Talk to him. Good evening. I won't. Have you any news about Aloysius Dawson? I must say that I'm feeling reassured by the wall he's going to build. Although I doubt it'll protect us from all the dangers that lurk outside the West End. Okay. Do you need me? It's a little late for visiting out. What can I? I hope. We you need. All right. Let's see if I can get to the hideout. We gotta secure your mom. Hold on a moment. I gotta go get. We're heading to the Reed Mansion just to save your mother's life. Okay, Jonathan, here you go. Oh, don't get confused, man. Nice. Thank you. Ah, it's much easier. Avery. Let's go talk to Avery and get into a conversation. Yes, Mr. Tell me the truth, Avery. Do you feel forced to stay here? Would you leave this house without the arrangement made by my father? No, sir. I have nowhere else to go. And I promised your father I'd take care of his family as long as I live. This house is dead, Avery. There is a curse on this family. You really should consider leaving. If only you could have been here sooner or more often. Maybe this house would not be that empty. But you're here now, sir. So my task is not over. You have served this family extremely well, Avery. Your support during these terrible times is much appreciated. Then I will stay. All I ask is that you take care of my own funeral if I die before the end of the epidemic. No mass grave, please, sir. Do you need medical attention, Avery? I won't refuse, sir. I don't feel that good these days. Here is your prescription. You'll feel better soon enough. Thank you very much, sir. Goodbye, Avery. Of course, Mr. Jonathan. Yeah. Now it's time to find Miss Reed. Ma'am. Hello again, Mother. Jonathan, back already? Good, good. I was just about to go outside to find you. You shouldn't stay away for so long. Have you returned to Whitechapel Cemetery since Mary's funeral? I never want to go back to that awful place. Wait. I think I went back once. And you were there too. And Mary? No, that can't be true. It was just a bad dream, Mother. A nightmare, yes. Mary was so angry. I walked back home alone. If that kind policeman had not called Avery from the station, I don't know what would have happened. Mother, do you know what's been going on in this area? Not really. I don't go out much due to the epidemic, and when I do, I tend to get lost. What do you mean, you get lost? 
I hope you don't go outside alone. Of course not. When I go out, your father always comes with me, but he leaves me there sometimes, and I have trouble finding the way back. Help. Do you need anything, Mother? Can I help you? I just want you to stay with me, Jonathan. Your room is ready. I asked Avery to make your bed. I'll stay as long as I can, I promise. Do you need anything else? Just one thing. Stop staring at me like that. As much as I love you, it breaks my heart to look at those empty and dead eyes. Are you working on a new painting? Not recently. I have trouble focusing on my subject and my mind quickly drifts. It's the same thing when I try to write poetry. I recently met a talented painter with an excellent technique. I wish you two could meet. I'm sure you'd like her. I'd be glad to meet her. What is her name? Is she famous? Is she dead too? She's not famous, and her name is of no importance. And yes, she is also dead. The important thing is, I hope you two get along. If she ever fancies meeting your mother, I'd be glad to welcome her into my home. Do you need my medical attention, Mother? Oh, you know I always refuse to let you listen to my chest, son. It always seemed awkward, even when I felt ill. I think you should take this. You'll feel better. I'm not sure I'll ever feel better, but thank you, my son. Goodbye, Mother. Goodbye, son. Right. Mary? We got a cure. Kimura. Karina. And Venus. Three more. Oh my dear, Jesus. Three more folks to cure. There she is. Rats. That's her again. Tell me about yourself, Miss Billow. What do you do for a living? Oh, I'm hungry. I need to eat. Have you got something for me? Blood, perhaps? Can you give me blood, Dr. Reed? Don't you remember who you are, Miss? What you did for work? I was strong, proud. I campaigned for good causes, but that was before, before. It does not matter anymore. I'm so hungry. What is the local news here about, Miss Billow? Shadows, shadows, hunting shadows, whispers in the dark, pestilence, suffering, death. Wow. Can I help you, Miss Billow? I'm a doctor. You can help me. Free me. I will take that as a yes. Even if I would prefer to help you in another way. Make it stop. Please. I must go now. All right, folks. Two more. Gotta find Mr. Tedo. Where are you, Kimura? That laugh. No, no, no. We're into the temple garden.
He's probably over there. Why not? again remember your vows I wouldn't say that if I were you be alone you call me? Where's the Dow? Gotta find him. And we got nothing but pre when freaks over there. Don't these guys ever give up? Foolish Echon! Foolish Echon! Back in the Reed Mansion. Hold on, still gotta get some more bullets. Alright. Okay, we gotta get down.
I cannot enter. We can't we can find her. Venus is sick. Hello, Venus. Hello. I remember when Mary came here with her husband and her son. What do you need? Have you any recent news of Aloysius Dawson? I heard he's launched a project to build a wall to protect the West End from the rest of the city. Perhaps Clarence will feel safer when it's built. Do you need my medic? It would appear that old habits die hard, my dear. I would appreciate your help as always. And I'm happy to give it to you, as always. Thank you, Jonathan. Now it's time to win. ta -da. I'm so sorry for your loss, Jonathan. Yeah. Come on. There he is, by the wagon. Good evening, Mr. Kimura. Good evening, Dr. Reed. Tell me, Tadao, why was your abductor so interested in your passion for astronomy? I don't know. We met a few times at the Royal Greenwich Observatory. He seemed to share my hobby. Then he invited me to his house and locked me in. Yes. Astronomy is a fascinating subject. When I was a child, my mother bought a small telescope for my sister and I. We spent he had a many small a telescope for his sister and him. Stars are not just dots in the sky, Doctor. Before you begin. They are the key to our understanding of the cosmos. They remind us how insignificant we are. You're right. But children love magic and stories. I remember... Our mother told us constellations have the power to protect us. Protection by the light of the stars. That's sweet. You remember the name of these constellations? Pegasus. Like was Pegasus. The constellation my mother I liked the most. Memory is a strange thing. I can recite without hesitation the names of the 88 constellations. Yet I barely remember my own childhood. Did he fake his interest in astronomy to get close to you? No. In his madness, he spoke about a blood sacrifice to be made to his master when the stars aligned to a specific configuration. Do you need medical assistance, sir? Don't believe that I'm the kind of man with a fragile constitution. But I'm afraid my imprisonment has done more harm than I thought. There is no need to be ashamed. We are all equally vulnerable to this disease. Yes. I know now life is as precious as it is fragile. True. Goodbye, Mr. Kimura. Okay, we healed all the folks. Dorothy's dead. Dead. Tyson's dead. Alrighty then. We could we should go talk to Lady Ashbury about the antidote. Hey, 
enough. Get out of my way. Speaking of thirsty, I'm getting a drink of water. Come on, load. dead. Okay, we're gonna go. Let's fight him. Stupid beast! <laughs> All right. Please load. Right. Move. 
Can I upgrade already? Okay. All good. This one has the highest damage. Yeah, come on. That. All 200. Face. Sight. Okay. Alright, folks. That'll do for now. Okay? Alright, folks. I'm Gabriel Gaming 5000K. I will see you in the next video. But before I do that, I'm going to go for it. Oh, never mind that. I'll see you in the next video, guys. I'll be farming more XP off-stream. Until then, take care.